um, after 30 years of, of being quite a savvy businesswoman. It so happened that I was vulnerable closer to a Christmas period. That's 18 months ago. And um, I got a Facebook request from somebody who was allegedly Italian, uh, living in Camps Bay in Cape Town, and um, seeking a friend. So uh, unlikely as it seemed, I did, I did accept it. And half an hour later, the person actually called me. And I asked how he got my number. And apparently the IT person who'd set up the social media profiles had included my telephone number, which was a big mistake. At any rate, I engaged with a series of chats with this gentleman who didn't sound at all Italian, nor was his name Italian. Nevertheless, he told me he was um, importing exotic cars and on his way to Rome for his son's wedding. As you described previously, he did tell me that his standard bank private banking account had been hacked and he couldn't pay for the son's wedding. So he asked me, as you said, for a small amount to get to Sicily where he could borrow the money for to pay for the wedding. Um, I did question his integrity because he was supposed to have a lot of wealthy, well-connected friends, and he said nobody was available. At any rate, reluctantly, I said, I don't know anything about you. I've never met you. I don't have any contact. I don't know your home address. Um, this is just giving money away. And he did start that aggressiveness about trust and uh, so on. And I'm to be his future wife and I must trust him. Anyway, reluctantly, I did send the amount of money, um, which gradually, as you have mentioned, became more and more. And many, many difficulties happened about his return to South Africa. I, in fact, don't think he left Cape Town at all. Um, this was all just a setup. And it was so cleverly set up that when I blocked him on various occasions, he called me from a telephone number which did have a Rome uh, prefix. So this is just how smart um, and when I objected to the amount of money that I couldn't afford it, he said too much to give me. He would be paid with any amount of interest and he was about to return. The climax came when he was caught boarding the flight, apparently, um, with large amounts of cocaine. And he told me the fine in Italy was 25 years in prison. Stupidly, I said, well, perhaps I could sell my new Audi car um, to pay the fine, um, which I did. I then must believe I went into some lunatic behavior because after that, I also sold my jewelry. And naturally, my business was not doing well because my attention was taken up uh, by assisting this person who I'd never met. At any rate, I then got into financial difficulties and was forced to sell on auction my beautiful apartment in Melrose Arch. Uh, predictably, my friends and family uh, were just unbelieving of this chaotic situation, which is hard to understand. I do agree. But they do hold a sort of... Um, hypnotic effect on a person um, and because of the frequent calls and your inner intuition which tells you that people will say you are uh, being taken for a ride, you're a fool, you don't really share your thoughts with other people. Well, the sad story is that I ended up homeless, jobless and friendless and eventually camped out in police stations and hospitals. Um, the social worker at one of the hospitals in Johannesburg 
found me a shelter in Onstapuert in Pretoria, where I ended up and spent 10 months. Um, if it had not been for a psychiatrist who suggested I give uh, Louise Hens a call from Sky Women, I guess I would still be at the, at the uh, shelter. Um, Louise arranged for me to be transported from there and into somebody's home in Johannesburg. It has really, really been a terrifying time because when I did try and lodge um, several police cases with the Norwood Police Station, they told me um, that nobody would held a gun to my head and I was myself to blame for my predicament. And they also said to me that they were not debt collectors. So eventually, after seeing the station commander, they gave me a case number and referred it to commercial crime because the amount involved exceeded 7 million rand, which in anybody's currency is a lot of money. And in my small boutique business, it sank me. And, of course, that's... That's not even what it does to a person emotionally, having to sell all your belongings and everything just to survive, really. Um, and it, it's surprising to learn after my um, PR association with Sky Women just how many women worldwide, and in particular in South Africa, have been victims of the cyber fraud. Um, we don't get much sympathy from people who find it very, very hard to believe that you hand over well-earned money to a complete stranger. But I must tell you, this story is extremely professional and very convincing. And I think I'm a skeptical kind of person, but I bought into it and lost everything. Um, Dylan, if we have to unpack your journey um, as, you know, as one of the women who have been targeted by this very, very professional crime syndicate, what, what could you have done differently? What was it that prevented you from seeing that you were being scammed, you know, before it was too late. What is your advice to someone watching you, watching this? What would you say to them? Well, I do think um, really that any invitations that are sent via Twitter, Instagram, or any of those social platforms should be thoroughly investigated. And then when I showed it um, subsequently to people who, who do know more than I do. Um, the person had virtually no friends, no photographs, and said very little about themselves. And I've come to learn that that is um, a red light uh, to a scammer. And somehow his profile was too perfect and his look was so professional and sophisticated. Um, and in fact... Um, a private investigator afterwards showed me the actual picture of the person who was very, very different and married with two children and didn't live in Camps Bay but lived in the Strand. Um, I hear these kind of people are not the – they are really called runners and they are the, the people who facilitate the, the funds and somehow it's – they appear to be Nigerian, and they end up there. I have um, attended to one of the top forensic uh, people in this country, um, and I mean the deposit is close to 125,000 rand.